SNES Drunk. Hey, welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays, Star Fox. Well, I really thank you guys for watching up to this point. If, if, you know, you have been watching. If you're just checking this out now, then welcome, I guess. <laughs> um, today, we're going to start the medium difficulty path, or level two, as it's referred to in uh, this game. We completed level one through the first three episodes. Very easy. Level two is a little bit tougher. Star Fox team, our last resort is to counterattack Venom. Good luck. Good luck. All right, and I also want to point out, I want to give a shout out to the YouTube commenters. You guys are the best. I have the best subscribers. Listen here. What he's actually, I was asking the question in the last, uh, in all the way back in episode one, in my first recording session there. What the hell was he saying? Because it sounded like a bunch of jumbled mishmash. And it does sound like a jump bunch of jumbled mishmash. But what he's saying there is uh, pointed out by the commenter that helpfully uh, uh, informed me on this, is that he's saying incoming enemy fighters prepare for launch. I had no idea. I've been playing this game for 20 years, and I had no idea. And that's exact. if you listen close, that's exactly what he says. So thank you, username I'm going to post on here that I can't remember off the top of my head. I probably should have written it down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I mean, oh god, that was terrible. I just got stepped on and I flew through the thing. Anyway, it's the same procedure here. You fly through the little arches here. Hopefully that counts. Flying through it counts too. Yeah, it does. And you get your power up here just like the first level and I'm gonna fly right the fuck through the door there. It doesn't matter. Because I'm just gonna hopefully get a red or a uh, yellow ring here from one of these guys. Anyway, yeah, the difficulty is somewhat increased. It's still not bad at all. I mean, the bosses on the first two levels are the same, pretty much. So it's, uh, it's the third level where the um, difficulty really starts to step up. The third hardest path, rather. The, the, set, the first two, eh. Maybe it's because I've played them so much, and because I've played them, you know, since I was as long, you know, since, since the game came out. Probably should have gotten that ring there, but I don't really. It's kind of irrelevant right now. A lot of the same aesthetics, though. Just from just some minor differences here and there. Uh, between uh, level 1 and level 2 so far. Yeah, if you fly through that arch, you get that ring there. And I believe... No. I'm not sure what these next two arches trigger. Oh, they must trigger that bomb there. There we go. Extra bomb. And now we've got this boring sequence here where these things fall at you and all you have to do is just... Stay low, the, low to the ground. Just very lazy programming sequence here, but whatever. And there we have it. And there's another bomb that you can get very easily just by tilting your your ship. Look out! Yeah, I'm. As I said on the in the last episode, I'm playing this on the retro uh, Retron Five. And I'm having some trouble, like, the L and R buttons really aren't responding that well for some reason. Like, I like doing, like, flips. I have to hit the button three or four times to, to do a roll, to do a barrel roll. And it's not really work, working that hard, working that well for me so far, for whatever reason. Might be the controller. Anyway, we've got the exact same boss here. The exact same boss, and he's beaten the exact same way as level one is the easy path. So, yeah, pretty uninspiring. See, it's not really, I'm trying to do a roll, but it's not really registering. It might be my controller, I don't know. And just like that, he is dead again. Let's zoom into the explosion once again. <coughs> and there we have it. And coming up here, See, I was able to do rolls there after pressing the button 50 times, but anyway, after that, we've got, um, coming up here, we've got the, uh, percentages, and yet another YouTube's, uh, commenter mentioned 
yeah, see, there you go. It's it, he he had the idea that um, the percentages were tied to the health of both you and your uh, teammates. As you can see there, nobody got hit there. I didn't, and I had full health at the end, and I still got 95. I think that there is something to that, though, because that would explain why I got an 83 at the end of the, the last run there, whereas I had 100% all the way through, because for the most part, my health was good, and my teammates' health was good. Um... Throughout the throughout the level throughout the most of the levels, but when I faced Andros, I pretty much you know I got hit pretty hard, and it was just me. It wasn't my teammates. You know, for whatever reason, they pussy out and they don't fucking they don't stay in the death chamber with me to fight Andros. Anyway, here we go with a kind of a unique level here. First we've seen in this game, we've got all these all this like crap floating around in space. Out. And this is actually Sector X, I'm sorry. This is not an asteroid belt that I uh, previously thought. We got kind of a trippy sequence here. Look out. It's kind of veers to the right for whatever reason. And we have another bomb that I don't need. I've already got a full thing of bombs. And here we coming up here we've got our second power-up. So once again, just like the first sequence we've got the, the first uh, path we've got overpowered weapons out the ass yeah this is a little bit tough this is obviously actually quite a bit tougher than the asteroid field I'm thinking of the third path that has the asteroid field and here we got a shield coming up here nice yeah kind of some interesting structures they build here and um, really, you can just yeah, you can just fly all the way around this stuff. It really doesn't get in your way unless you let it get in your way. And we've got these weird enemies here that keep their their backs to you. They kind of repel laser fire, and then they turn toward you and very slowly get closer to you. They don't really do much other than that. Give me a T, give me a T, give me an S, give me an X, X, what's that spell? Six, six, six. Yeah, that doesn't really work, I guess. Whoa, look out. All right, now we've got, here's the hardest part of the stage. We've got stuff coming from beneath you, stuff falling on top of you, stuff coming from left and right. we got these things, we're doing barrel rolls, my shield is gone. Oh my god, use a bomb. I coincidentally saved Flippy, or Slippy, Flippy. <laughs> Slippy by doing that. Didn't mean to. I, I just really want to let him die, but I want to keep my percentages up as much as I can. All right, and here we have the exact same boss as the asteroid belt from level one, from the easy path. And you beat him the exact same way. Kind of a bummer. Just fire away at the lasers. Oh, look out. And he lets go of the thing. You shoot him. And he goes and he dies. Kaboom. Yep, pretty straightforward. I want to, once again, in case I haven't given it enough dap. Am I white enough for saying that? Given enough uh, props to uh, the uh, YouTube commenters, I have the best subscribers out there. Thanks, you guys, for the information about this game. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on SNES Drunk Plays Star Fox. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day. 84? Come on.